Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today I'm going to be talking about something that is going to light up your day, light up this moment, and it's going to be about joy and laughter. It's so funny, right, that in life we we don't realize how much uh, we talk about happiness, we talk about healing, and not realizing that laughter joy, gratitude, and being grateful, just that positive feeling. So it's not so much of reading or knowing, it's feeling it and being immersed in a feeling and an experience helps you heal faster. In hypnotherapy, one of the things that I do is I guide my clients into a state of relaxation. And when we are relaxed, we are open to suggestions, we are open to receive, and when we are ready, it incorporates not only consciously, but subconsciously. So when we want to talk about the patterns of joy, I want to say humor, that delight is a delightful ability to tickle your funny bone and when you are upset especially when you are sick when you're under the weather or you know when i am upset it's like don't joke with me but if i see something that it's funny it breaks that monotony it breaks that um how do i say the edge and it's not tickling me or doing something but something that reminds me of joy now one of the things that we have let me shut this volume i don't know why okay one of the things that it has been discovered and as a matter of fact um, in the realm of healing there is no no rigid boundaries right so when we say there is no rigid boundaries that means things that are soft things that are round things that are colorful Uh, brighten our day when you see uh, beautiful bright polka dots uh, bubbles um, balloons colorful balloons instead of a edged something so joy is this um, intangible feeling it's an experience it's not happiness because with joy is that momentary feeling that you have at that very moment so i'm asking you what brings joy to you in that moment a thought an idea an image even a scent uh remembering a scent someone can pass by and if that scent if that smell of a cologne of someone that was dear to you um, reminds you of something it reminds your entire essence and it brings joy to you puts a smile and it can be a real smile or it can be an internal smile so what we have discovered is that even um even movies do the same thing when we look at a yellow car sometimes you turn around and say wow why would anyone sit in a yellow car but the mini cars when you look at the mini cars and they are bright and yellow did you know that inside the mini minor cars the mini cars that are out on the road they have this beautiful like a flower vase and they have a flower inside uh mostly like a bright yellow or bright pink 
and it reminds you what a joy it is to ride in this car. So the experiment that was done is that joy means an intense momentary experience of positive emotions. Uh, a baby's giggle, when they giggle, all oh, and it brightens your day. Right now, TikTok, Instagram, you see dogs and cats playing brings joy, right? So, in fact, joy is a reminder. It is a reminder of who we are and that makes not only your funny bone tickle, but it's a natural painkiller. And not only it brightens your day, it relaxes your muscles and puts a smile on your face and smile is a boomerang. You smile and someone else might look at you and smile because they enjoy your smile, if, especially when it's genuine. Yeah. It's not for the photo op, but it's a genuine smile. And when you smile genuinely, when you feel good, when you have joy inside, did you know that even your eyes sparkle? Yeah, because your eyes are the tunnel that sees everything and it captures everything. It's the camera. And uh, there was a book, there was a book called um, by Norman Cousins that it's about how laughter heals pain. Um, laughter is a healing method. And it's one of the things that anatomy of all in this as perceived by the patient and its reflections on healing and regeneration that was done by Norman Cousins. Um, because in the old days, when they didn't have all these social media, but they had Charlie Chaplin, they had the Three Stooges on TV. And if you're old enough, you will know what I'm talking about. The cartoon is Hackle and Jackal and um, Bugs Bunny because they were pure joy. And that's what Disney was trying to do is bring joy into your life. Even when you go to Disneyland, it's all the colors, all the shapes. You don't see anything that it's edgy, but everything that it's wavy and it's round and there is no cut because the edges are sharp. And when, even when Disneyland was put together, and arenas, sports arenas, they are either oval shape or round, the dome. That's because when you are surrounded in that place, you feel safe. It's a cocoon. It speaks to your core. And that's a pregnant woman. The, the dome, the cocoon. And when you feel safe to feel joy and experience joy from the inside. So humor being this natural painkiller, that's why sometimes they say, are you sure that you need that pill? Because when you believe in the person that you are with, and it can be a nurse, it can be a doctor, it can be a coach, it can be a therapist, it can be your partner when they hug you, when they have the best intention for you, it can give you a placebo. And when your mind and body believe that this hand, this pill, this hug is going to heal me, it does. So in fact, when I do self-hypnosis and I've done root canal with absolutely no anesthesia, it's my mind over matter. 
it's my mind over my body so that's why i call it mindset reset which you're gonna hear a lot more on that and uh laughter and humor boost your immune system not only they boost your immune system and it stimulates uh everything the gamma production in your body and the hormones that combat disease and everything but when you laugh this muscle starts moving and i think it's the best stomach exercise that there is for your abs and all that yes you can have a six pack by laughter and there's a few other things you can do that really moves your abdominal but this is a um a pg uh, message so where does joy come from where in our culture we we want to know that joy look we look at certain things and nature cherry blossoms uh, as i said and balloons why why do hugs and balloons and polka dots and cherry blossoms and um puppies actually today i brought my dog to work with me and i will call him over you can see him you walk in the door and your dog waggles his tail pure joy and all that and when you throw the ball for them it's a joy why do we do this because it brings us to our beginning as children not only we are safe in a dome, in a safety of round, polka dots being round, colors, colors of rainbow, we feel good. And there is nothing in life that heals more than joy and feeling safe and knowing that you are protected and what you feel is good there is no judgment there is no one telling you why are you laughing why are you smiling you know that's why when we giggle and laugh and dance dance that movement brings joy to your body when you run if you are a runner after the first few steps you get into the groove and when you start accomplishing something, it doesn't happen on that first day. That's why when I do my stand up to slim down, I have three phases, which is the first phase is the evoking, evoking of what was, which is bringing all the things that was not joyful to you. And if there was anything to peel away, um, that has been traumatic, that has been hurtful, and then remind you on the second phase so you can embrace everything that you feel and it's okay to feel. It's okay what you are going through, right? And then the next phase is what is it that you want to accomplish and you do that with full experience of knowing that once I receive this, I'm going to feel so much better. Not because others said so, because I am experiencing. So, does that make sense? Joy is a moment today, right now. You know, I heard something the other day. It made so much sense. Money does not bring happiness. But when you are happy, you attract happiness. It's about attracting this abundance, the feeling of abundance and that joy and happiness and those moments become the boomerang or you receive more of. So the more you surround yourself with people who cheer you on, support you genuinely have the best interest in you it can be a coach a therapist 
a partner, family member, a friend. Sometimes friends are so much better than some family friends, and you know that. And then there are family friends from away and that you met long time ago. Like the other day, someone congratulated me and I had not heard from this person in years. And I'm like, wow, thank you. That brought joy to my heart. And you know why? Because when you have a good feeling or a relationship with someone and they acknowledge you, that's a momentary joy. And we build on that one. So bring more laughter into your life. If you are feeling down or blue, um, if you are sad, if you're going through hard times, brighten your day with flowers, brighten your day with feelings of elation, create patterns, surround yourself with patterns and everything that, um, you know, in the Greek word, there is a word, I have to read this, it's called astomai, which is the aesthetics, when you feel the aesthetics and that feeling, in Greek word, it's called aistomai, which is I feel, I sense, and I perceive everything in life is a perception. You shift your mind and you reset it and your entire perception changes. So I hope today's message was beneficial to you and you surround yourself instead of the edgy cold and gray things with colors bubbles um giggles even colored eggs that remind us from egg hunt um even m ms that are colorful and sweet and a red cherry apple and a cherry corvette so, may the healing be yours from within, because everything starts with a spark within you. I hope this message today also brought a spark of joy in your moment. Please subscribe. It's your subscription to our YouTube channel that helps me grow so I can make a bigger impact. And Google loves it too. So until next week, I wish you all the best. No matter what weather it is, rainy or sunny, there's always the sun shining upon you. God bless and may the universal light surround you always. Winston, come here. Come here, baby. Let's say hello. Now, this one brings joy to me. Hi, Mama. Say hi. Say hello. Oh. <laughs> Say hi. Hello, everyone. And this is Sir Winston. <laughs> okay, you don't like to sit like that, but you can sit like that. And say hi. Say hi, everyone. Pure joy. Bye-bye. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Bye, everyone. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.